account on Facebook, you know, with, with you know, the office. And this is all in this 155 page decision by Judge Doty. And they were telling Twitter, Twitter didn't want to censor me. And Twitter ended up censoring me the least. But, you know, three, three weeks after that, Instagram took my account down. Facebook, you know, it was all, all in on it. And um, what they were saying to Twitter is if you don't censor him and a bunch of other people, we're going to yank your Section 230 immunity. And Section 230 is existential for these companies. I mean, Mark Zuckerberg said that is existential. Without Section 230, Facebook Section 230 exist. protects the social media companies from being sued as if they were a publisher. Or defamation, right? right? So you could slander me. You can go onto Facebook and you can say, you know, Bobby Kennedy is a, Robert Kennedy is a Nazi, right? right? He's a member of the Nazi Party of America. When you know that's a lie. And I then can say, I can then sue you, but I can't sue Facebook. Right. Right. And, and if I could sue Facebook, they would have to vet with a lawyer every single post on Facebook and they'd be out of business. Right. Oh, they have a section called Section 230, the Communications Act, I think, I think that um, it says they don't have to, you know, that they're, that they're protected against that. And what the White House was telling Twitter and Facebook is, if you don't censor these guys, and they were censoring us, talking about the Ukraine war for criticizing it. At one point, they, one of the, uh, the, 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 the there, was a, there was a satire about President Biden and his wife that they wanted removed. So, oh, you know, these were like just political decisions that, you know, they weren't even, and my information, by the way, I never posted any, not a single um, bit of what you was misinformation. Um, they, they had to invent a new word. What I was posting was factually correct. Everything I posted on Instagram was cited to a peer-reviewed publication or to a uh, or to a government database. So I was very careful, and I we have a big at CHD, the Children's Health Defense, a big infrastructure, fact-checking infrastructure, probably more robust than anybody else. Oh, they had to invent a new word called malinformation. Yes, which is it. not misinformation, malinformation, yes. which is information that is true. technically true, <laughs> but it's inconvenient for the government. Yes. So, and that's what they were censoring me for. So, um, so they were, you know, making that threat. We're going to pull your Section Two Hundred and Thirty immunity unless you criticize, unless you shut down our political opponents. What if President Trump had done that? What would what would we be doing if he had done that? 